everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I haven't really done in a while and I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently than I have in the past. Um, normally I would kind of just do my hair routine and show you guys what I do, but I feel like every time I do one of those videos, um, I don't know, I feel like I always forget things and I thought it would just be easier to sit down with all the products that I use and just talk to you guys about it. Um, if you're wondering how I use these products, you can go back to one of my old curly hair routines. I'll link them down below. And um, you can kind of see how I put gel in and stuff like that, just in case you're wondering how to do it yourself. But anyway, these are all the products that I use in my hair currently, and I'm going to kind of explain my whole like second day routine and all of that stuff I do. So, yeah. Anyway, um, on the days that I do wash my hair, I use the Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Shampoo from John Frieda. And um, I was using just the regular Sheer Blonde, but um, I ran out of it, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to try the Go Blonder because I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I did, and I'm really liking it so far. It has made my hair kind of lighter. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it in my camera because it's kind of dark out right now because it's a rainy day. But yeah, it has made a difference in my hair, and it smells good, and it's just a great shampoo. So definitely recommend it um, if you have blonde hair, of course. Um, the next product that I use in my hair is this conditioner, and um, it's starting to get pretty empty. You can see it's kind of thinner right there, but it's the Medium Thick Frizzy to Smooth Conditioner from Pantene, and um, I used to rave about this line on this channel all the time, and I still do use a lot of products from this line. Um, even though it's made for like thick hair, I have pretty thick curly hair, so these products work great for me. And this is just a good moisturizing conditioner, and I really like it, so... Yeah. So those are my two products that I use um, every day in my hair. Um, I do wash my hair every other day, so say it's Monday and I wash my hair, and then it's Tuesday, I won't wash my hair, but then I'll just wet it and put conditioner through, let it sit for a while, and then, you know, rinse it back out. And then once a week, I will use a deep conditioner, and this is the one that I use. And it's from Pantene, also from their Thick line. And it's the Intensive Restoration Treatment. So um, I really, really love this stuff. It's a really nice, thick, creamy conditioner. And it just really makes my hair feel a lot softer and really moisturized. And I really think that my hair has been a lot healthier since I've started using this. So I definitely am not going to stop using it anytime soon. I absolutely love this. Um, also, one other thing about what I do to my hair in the shower, when I have um, conditioner in my hair, I go ahead and I take a wide tooth comb and I just comb through my hair. Um, I forgot to bring it in with me when I'm filming, but you can find them easily at like Walmart. And um, you just kind of can keep it in your shower if you want to. That's what I do this way. I never forget to do it. And it makes brushing my hair a lot easier when I, you know, comb out some of the knots ahead of time. And it also kind of helps your hair to soak in conditioner better, so, yeah. Anyway, um, I know that my routine's a little bit different from some girls with curly hair. I know some girls will put their hair up in a bun or something and then wake up the next morning and their hair still looks great. But for me personally, it just works to take a shower every day and just wash my hair every other day, so, yeah. Anyway, once I get out of the shower and my hair's all wet and ready for products, I use this first, and it's the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum, and you can see this is like completely empty pretty much. There's like a little bit right there, and that's it. Um, I absolutely love this. I've been using it for a really long time, and it just helps to keep the frizz down some, and um, it's just a good product, so I always make sure that I put some in my hair. And after I put that through, I go ahead and I just brush my hair. And um, I know that it's bad to brush your hair while it's wet, but I've honestly been doing it my whole life, and I've never really had huge problems with my hair. I mean, you can see it's not really that frizzy, so just a personal choice. If you're wondering, this is the hairbrush I use. Um, it's kind of old and it's missing a couple bristles, but it works for me, so, you know. After I'm done brushing my hair, I go ahead and I put some of this through, and it is the Garnet Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk. And it looks like this. And I actually heard about this product through Forever Yours 0727 or Kaylee. And um, she said that she'd used this product forever and it really worked really well for her hair. So I wanted to give it a try. And this bottle's actually pretty empty because I've been using it most of this summer. 
but I have noticed a difference in how frizzy my hair is. The frizz has gone down a little bit since I started using this, so I do make sure that I go ahead and use some of this every single day. And I know it seems silly to be using two anti-frizz products, but it's what works for me, so I'm definitely going to keep buying both of these and using them. And the last thing that I use in my hair routine every day is this gel. And it's another product from the Medium Thick line from Pantene. And I've been using this gel since freshman year, and now I'm a senior, so it's about three years now. And I really just trust this stuff. Um, sometimes my hair can get a little crunchy like it is today. But um, I do just really love how well it holds my curls and keeps the frizz down. So it's really what works for me, and I'm going to keep using it for probably forever. So, yeah. Anyway, that is pretty much it for my hair routine. If you have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and just leave me a comment below or send me a message or whatever is easiest for you. And um, also, if you're ever wondering what to do, you know, when you're like running late or you really want to wear your hair without having to like get it all wet and everything, um, sometimes when I'm in a bit of a rush, I will like take a curling iron out and I'll curl pieces that have kind of fallen out like... I don't know if you can see, but the bottom of my hair is kind of just naturally more straight anyway. So um, on like a second day, I will take a curling iron and curl these pieces and then just hairspray my hair and go. So if I am going to wear my hair a second day without getting it wet and everything, then that's what I'll do. But usually it's just my personal preference to start with wet hair every day and just wash my hair every other day. So yeah. Anyway, I'm really going to go now. I hope you girls are having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very soon.